Hello children, welcome back to the session. We are going to continue exercise 6.4 and some more questions which are given as illustrations in this session. So let us continue. First one type of question left to explain that is estimating square root. We already learned two methods for finding square root. One is prime factorization and second is long, square, long division method. Now one more method is there for finding square root of a non-perfect square number by estimation. So I will explain through an example. See the question, estimate the square root of 250. We know that 250 is not a perfect square. So we have to find it by estimation, not by actual other calculation. So what we will do, first of all, we have to find out 250 is coming between which two perfect squares. First step we have to find out 250 is coming between which two perfect squares. See, we know that 15 square equal to 225 and 16 square equal to 256. So 250 is coming between, in between 225 and 256. So it is written here, 15 square, that is 225, is less than 250, less than 16 square. Now if you take square root, that is 15 is less than square root of 50 less than 60. That means square root of 250 comes between 15 and 60. That is the first part. So we understood that square root of 250 comes between 15 and 60. Now for doing estimation, next step we have to calculate square root of 250 is closer to which number? 15 or 60. So for that what we have to do? First square, 15 square equal to 225. So the given number 250. So from 250 we have to subtract 225. Then 250 minus 225 equal to 25. Then next to perfect square is 256. So 256 minus the given number 250. So 6. So we can see that the difference is smaller here in second case. That is 256 minus 250 is 6. That means we can say that 256 is much closer to 250 than 225. So we can say that square root of 250 is much closer to 16 than 50. So we can write square root of 250 equal to 16. And here I have written in bracket approximately because it is not exactly equal to 16. It is approximately near about. That is why bracket written approximately. This type of questions are coming in the exercise again. So we will discuss more about it. Now we are going to start exercise 6.4. Question number one. Find the square root of each of the following numbers by division method, which I had explained in the previous video. First question is 2304. So this I had explained yesterday. What we have to do? First of all, write this number 2304 and draw the column like this, lines like this for division. Then first step is you have to make pairs of two two digits together, putting bar. So first you starting from one's place. So zero four is the first group, put a bar. Then two three is the second group, put a bar. So we have two groups showing two bars. That means there are two steps of division. Now then we have to take from the left side first group. What is the first group? 23. Now we have to see which perfect square is exactly equal to 23 or less than 23. We know that 23 is not a perfect square. I have shown here our calculation here. See, 
4 square equal to 16, then 5 square equal to 25. So, 25 we cannot take because 23 is less than 25. So, we cannot take more, we can take less number. So, what is the suitable perfect square coming here? 4 square equal to 16. So, 16, uh, 16 is the perfect square coming near 23 and less than 23. So, what is the digit coming in the divisor place? 4. So, 4 is the new digit we have to write in three places. In divisor place, just below that and in the quotient part. We have written 4. After that, 4 square 16, we have to write below the dividend 23 and subtract. So, 23 minus 16, we will get 7. Then we have to double the divisor. Double the divisor means 4 into 2 or 4 plus 4 equal to 8. Then next part, so first step of division is completed. Then we have to find the next pair done. What is the next pair? 0, 4. So already we have got 7 as the remainder. Then bringing 0, 4 down, the number or the dividend in the next step becomes 704. Now we have to see already we have in the divisor place 8. The next digit we have to find. So that that uh, the number multiplying with the next same digit, we should get either 704 or less than 4. Since this given number is a perfect square, so you can see the easy method we learned in the properties. The 4 is coming as the last digit or unit digit of a perfect square number, then there are two chances, either 2 or 8 can come as the unit digit of the square root of that number. Understood because 2 square is also 4 and 8 square 64 also, unit digit is 4 coming. So here 4 is the last digit, so we can try first with 2 or if 2 not possible, then 8. So 82 2 are. Okay. First pair we can find is 81 1 are 81 small. Then find 82 2 are. 82 2 are what coming? 164, also smaller than this. Then I am trying 8. So 88 8, sir, we have to take care of that after the first digit divisor 8, next digit 8, we have to multiply. So it becomes 88. Then it multiply with 8. So 88 8, sir, 704, which is exactly equal to the dividend. So 8 is the new digit right after the divisor, just below the divisor and in the quotient part. So 88 8, sir, 704, subtracting 704 minus 704 equal to 0. So, we can write square root of 2304 equal to 48. Now, we will move to second question, 4489. So, as we done, first we have to make pair, two, two digits together, first pair 89, second pair 44. Now, we have to see which perfect square is exactly coming or less than 44. We know that 44 is not a perfect square. So, see, I have shown the rough calculation here. This is not necessary to write, but I have shown that you can understand. So, 6 square equal to 36. When I found 7 square also, 7 square equal to 49 is greater than 44. So, we cannot take. So, the suitable perfect square is 6 square equal to 36. That means 6 is the new digit which we can write in three places. In the divisor place, just below that and in the quotient part. Now, 6 square is 36. So, right below 44 and subtracting, you will get 8. Then, we have to double the divisor. So, 6 plus 6, 12. Then, bring the next pair down. Next pair is 89. We have brought down. Now, we have the dividend 889. Now, see, since the last digit is 9, there are two possibilities. Either 3 can come or 7 can come as the unit digit of this perfect square number. So, first time, already we have two digits 12. Doubling 6, we will get 12. Now, next digit will come as the third digit in the divisor. So, 123, 3 is our I found. So, what I am getting? 369, which is smaller than 89. Then, I am finding 127, 7 is See, both the digits are changing together. 127, 7 is 889, which is exactly equal to the dividend. So, 7 is the new digit, right? Next to the divisor 12, below that and in the quotient part. Then multiplying 127 7 are 89, subtract below the dividend 889 and subtracting you will get a 0. So division is completed. So square root of 4489 equal to 67. Now next question is 
5,776. It is 7th question. The remaining 3 to 6 questions are homework. You have to do it as homework. Now, this is 7th question. See, you have to find the square root. So, write the number 5,776. Then, make pairs of 2 to digits together. So, first pair starting from right. 76, second pair is 57. Now, start from the leftmost pair 57. We know that 57 is not a perfect square. We have to find the perfect square which is closer to 57. So, 7 square equal to 49. When I found 8 square, 64 is greater than 57. So, we cannot take. So, suitable perfect square is 7 square equal to 49. So, 7 is the digit coming in divisor place. Here, right, just below that and in the quotient part. Now, 7 square equal to 49, right below the dividend 57 and subtract. So, 57 minus 49 equal to 8. Then, double the divisor. So, 7 plus 7, 14. So, here we have got two digits already. Then, bring the next pair down. So, 76 brought down. So, the dividend becomes 876. Now we have to see which is the next digit coming as the next digit in the divisor. So, what is the last digit? 6. So, there are two possibilities. Either 4 or 6 can come as the unit digit of square root of this number. So, first we will try with 4. Already we have two digits 14. So, next will come as the third digit 144. So, 144 multiplied by 4. So, what I am getting 576 which is smaller than 876. So, I am trying 6. So, 146, 6 are equal to 876, which is equal to the given dividend. So, 6 is the new digit we are getting. We have to write in three places. After 14, below that and in the quotient part. So, multiplying 146 by 6, 876, writing below the uh, quotient and subtracting, we will get 0. So, we can write square root of 5776 equal to 76. Since all these numbers are perfect square, we are getting the remainder as 0. Now, question number 8, 7921. So, as we done, first of all, pair make. So, what is the first pair? 21, then 79. Then start division from the leftmost pair, 79. Which perfect square is coming closer to 79? See, 8 square equal to 64 is smaller than that. But 9 square equal to 81 is greater than that. So, we cannot take. So, suitable perfect square is 8 square equal to 64. So, 8 is the new digit. We have to write in three places. In the divisor place, just below that and in the quotient part. So, 8 8 are 64. Write below the dividend 79 and subtract. After subtracting, you will get 15. Then double the divisor. So, 8 plus 8 equal to 60. So, first step of division is over. Then we have to bring the next pair down. So, 21 brought down. So, the dividend becomes 1521. Now, we have already two digits 16 here. Now, we have to see which digit is going to come with the divisor 16. So, what is the last digit of this uh, perfect square? 1. So, there are two possibilities. Either 1 or 9 come as the unit digit of this perfect square number. So, first I am trying 1, 161, 1s are 161, smaller than that. Then I am trying 169, 9s are. So, I am getting 1521, which is equal to the device, uh, dividend. So, subtracting, we will get 0. Here, the new digit is 9. We have to write after 16, just below that and in the quotient part. So, division completing, we are getting 0. So, we can write square root of 7921 equal to 89. Now, next question, question number 9. 576, smaller number, three digit number. So, we have to first make the pairs. So, first pair is 76 and second pair is 5. So, 5, the leftmost pair is having only one digit. We have to see which perfect square is coming closer to it. Which one? See, 2 square is 4. 3 square 9 is greater than that. That we cannot take. So, 2 square equal to 4. So, 2 is the new digit. We have to write in three places. In divisor's place, just below that and in the quotient part. So, 2 square equal to 4, right below the dividend 5 and subtract. So, 5 minus 4 equal to 1. Then, double the divisor. So, 2 plus 2, 4. 
Then bring the next pair down. Next pair is 76 brought down. So the dividend becomes 176. Then we already further. Now we have to find which is the next digit going to come with the divisor. For that, see the last digit of the given number, that is 6. So, if 6 is coming as the last digit of a perfect square, then which are the possibilities? Either 4 or 6 can come as the unit digit of the square root of this number. So, first I am trying with 4. Already 4 is there. So, next digit becomes 44. 44, 4s are 176. Correct. And which is equal to the dividend. So, 4 is the new digit. We have to write in three places. After 4, just below that and in the quotient part. 44, 4 are 176. Write below the dividend 176 and subtract. Then we will get 0. So, we can write square root of 576 equal to 24. Next number is 1024. So, 1024 also there are 4 digits. First step, make a pairs starting from the right. So first pair is 24, second pair is 10. Now we have to see which perfect square is coming closer to 10. Which one see? 3 square equal to 9 is coming very closer. 4 square 16 is greater. So we cannot take. So 3 square equal to 9 is suitable. So 3 is the new digit in the quotient divisor just below that and in the quotient. So 3 square equal to 9, write below 10 and subtract 10 minus 9 equal to 1. Now double the divisor. So 3 plus 3, 6. After that, bring the next pair 24 down. So the dividend becomes 124. Now we have to see which is the next digit going to come with the divisor 6. For that, see the last digit. Last digit is 4. So we can say that square root of this number will have either 2 or 8 as the unit digit. So first try with the 2. So 62, 2 are 124, which is exactly equal to the divisor. So 2 is the new digit, right after 6, below this 2 and in the quotient part. So 62, 2 are 124, right below the dividend and subtract, we will get 0. So, square root of 1024 equal to 32. Now, question number 11, 3136. So, as we done, first of all, make pairs of two two digits together. So, first pair is 36, another pair is 31. Now, start division from the leftmost pair, that is 31. Which perfect square is coming here to 31? See, 5 square equal to 21, 6 square equal to 25, square equal to 25, 6 square equal to 36. We cannot take 36 because it is greater than 31. So, 5 square is the suitable pair. So, 5 is the digit, write in three places, divisor place, just below that and in the quotient part. So, 5 square equal to 25, write below the dividend 31 and subtract. So, 31 minus 25, we get 6. Then double the divisor. So 5 plus 5, 10. Then bring the next pair down. 36 bring down. So the dividend becomes 636. Then we have already 10 here. Now we have to find the next digit. For that, see the last digit of the given number. That is 6. So there are two possibilities. Either 4 or 6 can come as the unit digit of the square root of this number. So first we will try with 4. So, 100, already 10 we have. So, it becomes 104 multiplied by 4, 416, which is smaller than the divisor. So, I am trying with 6. So, 106, 6 are 636, which is equal to the dividend. So, subtracting, we will get 0. After 10, 6 is the new digit, right in three places. After 10, below that and in the quotient part. So, subtracting we get 0. So, we can write square root of 3136 equal to 56. Now, we will move to last question of that group, 900. Very easy. See, first make the group of pairs. First, double 0, then 9. We know that 9 is a perfect square. 3 square equal to 9. So, 3 is the new digit. Right, the devices place just below that and in the quotient part. So 9 minus 9 equal to 0. Then if you bring the other pair of digits, that is what? 0, 0. So it becomes 0 only. So since we have two zeros, what we have to write? We have to write 
one more zero two zeros there then we have to write one zero in the quotient so square root of 900 equal to 30 with this we will conclude today's video the questions three to six i had given in homework all of you have to do it then the remaining exercise we will continue tomorrow thank you